All right, welcome back. Sneezing, itchy, watery eyes, signals of the arrival of fall for a lot of us here in East Tennessee. Some children, though, suffer with allergies, well, year-round, but this time of year, ragweed, always a major offender, and it's especially tough for those with asthma. Joining us right now for more from Children's Hospital, Dr. Lisa Christensen, to kind of talk a little bit about allergy season, and obviously still COVID is top of mind for a lot of people, but I know we were just talking in the break, there are ways to tell the difference, but if this is allergies or if this is something else. Yeah, so typically allergies are going to occur th during the same time each year. Mm -hmm. So you might see symptoms every spring and every fall when the pollen comes out and the molds come out. If the kids have runny eye, itchy eyes and runny eyes, runny nose, itchy nose, particularly right. itch like that, clearing of their throat, that tends to be more allergies. Also, they're not sick, so they don't have a fever. Yeah. So kids with COVID typically will be achy, have a fever, have some other Ill signs that they have an illness with it. Yeah, the fever is the key there is what Correct. it seems like, and you yeah. hear that a lot. Or the body aches. That's yeah, a that's true. That's yeah. true. Uh, so, so what kind of things do we need to be thinking about then as a parent? Okay, if, you're, if we see the, 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 the symptoms of the allergies, what, what kind of we need to be thinking right now? Well, certainly if you can find a way to avoid what's ever triggering sure. these allergies. So if they're going to go outside, staying away from jumping in the leaves, which mm -hmm. would be fun, but there's mm -hmm. lots of mold in the leaves. Um, when they come inside, if they want to take off their clothes, wash their clothes to get a bath and then if the symptoms persist even talking to their doctor sure about what else and, and with allergies can that either lead to asthma enhance asthmatic symptoms uh, how, are the two somehow related many kids with allergies yeah. also have asthma okay. they don't cause one another but they're right. often related okay. um, and families that have asthma the kids tend to have asthma um, but if you do have asthma and have allergies also that your symptoms certainly can be worse so they're very related but they don't cause one another okay okay I see and again just as far as from a parent's perspective to help your child it's really just seems like being aware of where they've been maybe ask some questions what were you into kind of give you an idea of What's triggering all of this? Exactly. And you'll notice about you by the time of the year, if it hap happens the same month each year, what's released at that time of the year. And then it's something that they can talk to their doctor about, too, about medications that might help. And is this really the time of the year? I know the leaves are getting ready to fall. We haven't yes. seen those colors yet and everything, but yes. it's coming. It's so. coming. And then with all the moisture that we have and yeah. the molds, that certainly is going to come. Okay. Really more symptoms. So definitely some things to look out for. And as you mentioned, always go and just call your pediatrician first. Is there a time when we need to come and see? everyone over at Children's Hospital or hopefully is this something we can knock out just with our family doctor? This is something that your pediatrician should, certainly could be able to handle. Okay. Hopefully you don't have to come to see me in the ER. That's right. <laughs> Let's hope not. Okay. Yes. Doc, okay. as always, great to see you. Thanks a lot for coming by. Thank you very much. Hopefully we've answered some of your questions out there. And if you have a question about your child's health that you would like answered, email Lori Tucker at ltucker at wat.com. Then, of course, tune into Channel 6 every Thursday at 4 o'clock to see if we answer your question on the air.